It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey. <laughs> you shut up. September comes by once again, alongside the season of autumn, return to school, the good old days, and two new variants to boot. But before we go there, let's take a quick recap of last month. Final Fang remained an efficient curse inflictor, outstanding counter to buff users, and a miniature chaos machine, way better than the actual chaos machine in Alter Ego. Unfortunately, she quickly fell to the wayside. Not much experimentation has occurred with her gimmick, and defensively she's not anywhere as annoying as either Immoral Fiber or Evergreen Evil. This time around, we get the likes of Psyched and Starlight Rose, both of which got regrettably mixed with a lot of underwhelming variants. I mean, fuck, that Diamond Relic only has about two good things in it. Surprisingly, the back to school prize fight has been made even easier yet again, where midterms applies to the second to last living opponent and final exam to the very last opponent left. It really is true that all we ever do is complain, huh? Oh, and uh, by the pass only if Psyched's ability really tickles your fancy. But you already knew that. I hope. Psykid is easily the main contender for second best Umbrella. I would let Biases take over and say she's the better one, but that's neither here nor there. There's two sides to her ability, and are disconnected enough if the latter case is janky for you. We start off with Deadeye and Inverse Polarity against attacking opponent, that makes her yet another excellent counter to heavy recovery variants like Assassin's Creed, and having Deadeye adds further convenience when going up against the buffs it counters. If the ability was exclusively this, it'd be fair to say she'd be competent, but nothing out of the order. It's thanks to the second ability that she gains a hell of a lot more flair. If Umbrella manages to land a wall bounce attack, all your buffs and enemy debuffs will have their timers reset, save for stun and doom, obviously. It's a consistent alternative to Shadow Puppet. Instead of relying on pure RNG, it asks for a seemingly easy action. Seemingly. Where Unfaced needed to land hits with the buckshot for a wall bounce, which is easy enough to do, Psykid is a bit more involved in that regard, options being Overstuffed Dash 2, Tongue Twister, and Throw Next to Wall. It seems like more options at first, but it's much more tricky to execute. But let's assume you know how to make the most out of these. Be it with Umbrella Loops or whatever else, doesn't matter. By herself, this nets you technically endless Deadeye and Inverse Polarity, as well as Lime if you equip moves that feature it. If we involve other variants into the mix, well shit dude, sky's the limit in that one. Good starting places would involve Inner Pieces or Prism Plumage. In any case, Psykid is another experimentation basket, where she takes the aforementioned Shadow Puppet's gimmick and makes it much more consistent at the cost of Shadow's ease of use. A fair trade, I suppose. I feel bad for calling you a rat all those many times. Starlight Rose is effective indeed. She has the ability of clearing two debuffs and granting a 15 second barrier if any teammate lands a well-timed block. Already that sounds like a major attractive, being able to get rid of, say, disabled blockbusters from a blockbuster, hex from hexy time, or unholy host's lengthy curse. But being based around well-timed blocks is what initially hurts it. Naturally, it depends on the AI cooperating, and you must take a defensive stance, not offensive, leading to spending more time recovering from the block position. There's a workaround, however. By landing a ground 5 combo and immediately blocking right afterwards, it will usually result in a perfect block, as the AI will try to retaliate as soon as it can. It's not 100% consistent, and if they use the right blockbuster, such as Girl's Knight or Tongue Twister, you'll be in a hard situation. But it helps getting more consistent debuff clears. I should have brought this up on the AI video. Oh, fuck. Her second ability adds extra convenience, where as long as any teammate benefits from barrier, they'll periodically gain enrage and regeneration for 7 seconds every 3 seconds. If nothing else, this works for the sake of keeping health scores as high as possible and grants an extra power boost. It makes some cases such as Corrosive Agent, Inner Pieces and Snakebite much more efficient since they don't need to deal well-timed blocks to gain barrier. Very convenient for Inner Pieces that Starlight happens to be neutral, I must say. Starlight is all about exploiting the system to your advantage, whether it be through the AI patterns or making your own source of barrier for the additional horsepower. Isn't that what Rose does in the series? I don't know, I never watched Steve-O Universe. La puta que me parió! <laughs> Lisa que está un toque. Lisa que está un toque. 
¡Para, ¡Para, Guille! ¡Me cago en tus para, putos para. muertos! Ya está. Ya está. ¡Me cago en Dios, Guille!